If you're into AV gear like I am, you probably have a lot of HDMI sources. Over here I have a Roku, a Blu-ray player, a game system, a camera. All of those have HDMI outputs. But this Hitachi TV set back here, I love this Hitachi TV set, but it only has one HDMI input. So when I'm trying out different gear, there's a lot of plugging in and unplugging of HDMI cables. That's wear and tear on your jacks. That's a lot of extra work. There has to be a better way. And I think it's right here in my hand. This is a TE Smart four input switch that'll let me output one HDMI signal. It does also have a remote. I'll be checking this out, seeing how it works. That's coming up on Thrifty AV. Quick disclaimer, the folks at TE Smart sent over this four port switch as a review sample. If they want this switch back, they can ask for it. I am not being paid for this review and all opinions expressed in this video are my own. This switch is out of the box. Let's back up and check out the unboxing. The box for the TE Smart HDMI switch is pretty plain except for the sticker on the side that has what it is and the model number. Getting inside of the box right here on top is a user manual wrapped in some protection here is the switch itself. There is a remote and a power adapter, a barrel connection power adapter. Shows four inputs, audio 5.1, 2.0 or auto, that's nice. On the back here are the four inputs. Note that they run right to left but it is the back of the unit. And there is the HDMI output, there's the barrel jack for five volt plug. It does have an SPDIF optical digital audio output or a left right mini jack analog audio output. As small as this remote is, it fits two triple A's in here. Now the instructions have a slightly different diagram for the remote than what I received with this unit. M says it goes to the next source piece, which is the audio. One, two, three, and four go to those sources. There's a five on this remote and that looks like a refresh maybe. Not sure what those are going to do on this unit if anything at all. And these days not only do I unbox, I untwist. Let's plug in this barrel connector and flip the switch on. I have a blue light on four here and audio is 2.0. Nothing's plugged in right now. And this obviously selects the source, and this obviously selects the audio. I'm going to leave it on auto for now. Let's plug some sources in and plug this into the TV set. My Roku will be source 1, Blu-ray will be source 2, game system will be source 3, and my digital camera will be source 4. Okay, uh, source 1 is my Roku. I have Amazon Prime going on. Volume's working. Let's switch audio. I went from auto to 5.1. 5.1 seems to be working okay. Let's go to 2.0. 2.0 is working okay. There is a delay. When I switch the audio mode, it does lose video for a few seconds. Hitting the info on the Hitachi, I'm getting a 1080p 60 signal out of the Roku. The Roku is capable of 4K, but right now it's not feeding 4K because this TV is not capable of 4K. All right, let's switch to uh, Source 2. Now Source 2 is my uh, Samsung Blu-ray player and it seems to be having some difficulty with the Samsung. All right, Samsung is coming in, but it's a little bit snowy here. Let's see what the Hitachi has to say about this. It says it is a 1080p 60 signal. I'm hearing the audio and it's on auto. Let's switch to 5.1. And again, there is a considerable delay 
when switching audio sources and you can see a little glitch on the picture so the TE Smart does not appear to like my Samsung Blu-ray player when I bypass the TE Smart switcher and hook directly up to the TV set there are no issues with a snowy picture or glitches so let's switch to source 3 all right the asteroid game seems to be working pretty fine i believe that is a 720p signal let's look at the info indeed it is a 720p 60 signal and it is working just fine let's try source 4. source 4 is this camera right here uh, and it looks just great the audio sounded good let's hit the info bar this is a 1080p 30 signal now this is capable of 4k and so is the switch however this tv is not capable of 4k so i cannot demonstrate 4k with this tv set okay i'm testing out the spdif audio i have this plugged into a sony receiver and the sony receiver is plugged into these speakers and the optical SPDIF audio is working just fine. Let's try the analog left-right audio. This is my best mini plug to RCA cable here. It was sent over by SyncWire. Thank you, SyncWire, for this. I'm going to plug the RCA cable into my Tascam here, DR40. And I'm plugging the mini plug into the TE Smart. Let's turn this on and record some audio. All right, I'm getting a good audio signal here uh, from the analog output on the TE Smart Switch. So the analog audio is working just fine. I'm testing 4K on the TE Smart Switch. I'm feeding a 4K signal from my Panasonic HCX1000 through the switch into my LG TV set. And I'm gonna hit the info button and as you see it says 2160p that is 4k so in conclusion the te smart four port hdmi switch did great with my roku ultra with my atari flashback 9 and my lumix fz 300 camera there were some difficulties with my samsung blu-ray player uh, with a snowy picture and occasional glitches the SPDIF optical audio worked great, so did the analog mini jack audio, and I was able to pass through a 4K signal from my Panasonic HCX1000 through the TE Smart 4 port switch, no problem, 4K worked. So overall, the switcher worked with most of the devices I tested it on, and I was very impressed with the audio options, not only the switch in the front that lets you go 5.1 or 2.0 or auto but also the option to have audio going through the hdmi or an optical audio or an analog audio output if you enjoyed this video smash that like button thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel and remember stay thrifty everyone